what's up, what's up? Kong kia pa manze. Make sure you subscribe to Emash Media manze, the only media. Hello, they call me Emash. Welcome to Emash Media, the only media in Kenya. Make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Controversial Kenyan pastor James Nganga has boldly spoken truth to power by calling out President William Ruto's Kenya Kwanza regime over high cost of living. Nganga's fiery statement comes just a few days after Anglican Church of Kenya Archbishop Jackson Olesa Pitt accused the current administration of overburdening Kenyans with hefty and numerous taxes. Do what you want. Sometimes you are misleading this nation. Now, Gia Kama Mtume, Chief. Uchumi ni baya na muna tumia hizo pesa vile muna ataka. Muna ogezea uchumi huko, muna ogezea pesa huko, muna ogezea vitu huko. Sapit's statement was firmly met with Kikuyu MP and National Assembly Majority Leader Kimani Chungwa, who claimed that he was speaking on behalf of the opposition, which is under the leadership of Azimiolo Moja One Kenya Coalition Party leader Raila Odinga. Nganga, who described himself as the chief general commander of spiritual matters, said that as an ordained religious leader, he could not sit aside and watch Kenyans being subjected to more suffering. He said that he was ready to lose everything including his church if that was the price of speaking truth to the powers that be. Stupid. I quote, the economy is tough and you are carelessly using public funds. You are increasing the cost of living and taxes every now and then. And when you are told the truth, you come and close the church. You can go ahead and shut down churches, said Apostle Nganga. He warned that the leaders who are ignoring the plight of Kenyans and even subjecting them to more suffering would lose power, courtesy of God's wrath. You found me preaching and I will say the truth. I swear before God, some of you are misleading the country. And God will remove you from those offices. You are adding yourself money as we suffer, he added. The increase in fuel tax to 16% from 8% after the announcement of the Finance Act 2023 has ignited rage among Kenyans and led to a spike in prices of basic commodities like food and services like transport. That's all for today. See you on the next one. Bye bye. For the best, best, best interviews, comedy, music, killer kit, the best of entertainment. For every story that is happening around the world. Subscribe. Subscribe. Turn on post notification. I post notification. I'll see you. Like and share. Media man, the only media. It is what it is.